All right, guys, so this is actually like the fifth time of me recording it because I've been stuck. Every time I figure something out about this flight controller, I just go crazy. So first, let's just talk about what do we have here? We have the new stack from Dal RC, and um, I've tested their ESC before. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, it is the second best 4-in-1 ESC I've seen. However, it could be the best all-in-one 4-in-1 ESC due to some of its characteristics. Now, some people have been reporting with the Tico 32 4-in-1 ESC, which is the best ESC, best 4-in-1 ESC, that when they go to screw on, you know, they're, they're, they're popping caps off, basically, when they're screwing something on because it's just so full of capacitors here everything is very well protected especially for newbies uh this will be very good for you this is the second best foreign one esc and could be the first depending on how you look at it so this is a little bit different now they've released the virgin 2 now it doesn't say anything about virgin 2 however this increased their cost by somewhat of something because he said that we've changed the capacitors we've added larger better capacitors also so this is a v2 4 and one ESC, so it's supposed to perform a lot better, and we're going to test that and see how well it performs compared to the old one. But this is not why we're making this video. We're making this video because of this guy, this, or this whole package. Now, this whole package is pretty crazy. Not only it connects via pins, that's just, you know, that's one of the nice things. Okay, this is, this is very nice. Okay, let's just take a look here. Let's put it in. All right. Oh, wow. Look how thin that is. That is incredibly thin. Okay, so so what? Well, what about it? Okay, well, both ESC and the flight controller are going to be soft mounted. That's another thing. Gyro, you could choose between the MPU 6000 and a super sensitive gyro. This is the MPU 6000. Okay, so, you know, what's so cool still about this? Well, this flight controller, not only that it's going to be super slim and super sleek and super clean in your quadcopter, it has a 5 volt and a nine volt regulator on board isn't that beautiful that is just that it that was the best feature in the Maytek f405 the older version which i don't know why pe a lot of people don't really do this uh this is this is just gonna be awesome really awesome so what you can do is you could choose between a five volt and a nine volt for your vtx or a power right here this one right there that one as you can tell it's soldered to 9 volt this came my came pre-soldered to 9 volt and uh so we could just give 9 volt to the vtx thus should have absolutely beautiful clean image in theory and this is what i truly believe actually um now let's talk about this this is an f4 flight controller it does come with osd as you can tell right there and um it's just gonna be absolutely gorgeous because all you need to do is just connect your receiver and camera and vtx to this guy that's it and uh, the motors and the battery to here, and then these two together, and you're done. That's it. You know, you burn a flight controller, remove this, put another one in. You're good to go. It's oh my goodness. You know, I, I don't. I've made. I've had to make this video like five times, literally five times. I had to reopen them. I'm just got sick of it. But you know, the, I really can't wait to actually build this. It's going to be absolutely phenomenal. So it is an F4 flight controller, and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the board here. So let's just see how the overall layout is. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at the board here. The overall layout is pretty sweet, actually. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the nine volt regulator and the five volt regulator. So we have both a five and a nine volt regulator, which can be specified to the camera and or VTX right there. So as you could tell here, let's see if we can get it focused. Perfect. All right. As you could tell here, you have this little thing here. Oh, you know what? Let's come back to it. So let's start from the front. So we have ground. VCC. So this this flight controller can either be powered by five volt or by your battery voltage up to a six S, which is pretty crazy. This is pretty good. It's very good actually. And this is where you would power it if you're not using the same ESC as we're going to use with this stack. Now I highly recommend you get these two together so you can have a very nice, clean, and overall easy build because you'll have you'll just ignore all of these right here. So as you can tell here, we have motor one, two, three, four. You would use this if you weren't using that ESC, the DALRC engine ESC. That's when you would use those. And then here, this is very important here because if you're gonna power this by five volt and not by VCC, uh, for some reason, you would give it five volt from right there. This is where you would give five volt to this board to 
turn on and then ground is right here so this if you're going to give it 5 volt don't put it to vcc put it to 5 volt if you're going to give it battery voltage to boot this thing then you give it vcc however with the dal rc engine again we don't need these here we just plug it in and we, that's all taken care of right here we don't care about anything and then you got your current sensor right there and uh we really don't need that because that's dealt through the dal rc engine now this is the interesting part here so this is the front right there. And uh, if you take a look here, we have F cam. What the hell is F cam? So F cam is bit, you're going to be able to control your camera's OSD. So that's where that would get connected. Camera is your yellow video wire. And then this is where it gets interesting. So this is the power for your camera. And you can choose between 5 volt and a 9 volt. It's currently on 9 volt. We're just going to leave it on 9 volt. And uh, you could just give it 9 volts. Just make sure your camera takes more up to 9 volt at least. If not, then you're going to have to remove the solder and then bridge it with the middle one with the 5 volt here. But you, most cameras go up to over 12 volts anyways. So you're going to be totally fine on that. And then you have your ground pad for your camera. So here's the camera all set and done. And don't worry if you don't have OSD or you don't want to connect to OSD, you don't have to. So don't be worried. It's the F cam. And the yellow wire again goes to the cam here. Now let's take a look here. Now, this is where it gets kind of interesting also for the VTX. So here we have an RX5 and a TX5. That's cool. That's UART5 uh, right there. And then here we have VTX. VTX is where the yellow ye yellow wire would connect to. This is where the, uh, you know, the, the yellow wire from your camera would go here, pop into this OSD, and then pop out here to your VTX so it can drop it down to your goggles. So that's the yellow wire on your VTX would go here. This is the power. It's currently at 9 volt, which is super awesome. It should give you absolutely clean video feed. Hopefully it's the same as the Matek, the old Matek F405. And then here's the ground for your VTX. And now we have here PWM, we just have two PWM uh, pads, I guess. I don't know what they're used for. Now, RSSI, as I believe, is uh, will work on S-Port. I don't know if it's inverted or uninverted, but I know for sure that RX1 is where S-Bus would be connected. And um, this is TX2, TX1, and then this is 5 volts. So I think, on yeah, RC is where you want to put your S-Bus here. It's a little bit counterintuitive, but... Um, yeah, and RSSI is where you would put your, you know, your S port, your telemetry for your for your uh, trans your receiver, and then you have five volt in ground. And obviously, if you're using some kind of a spectrum, you would, you know, there's your three point three volt in ground, and um, yeah, it's really it's really nice. It's really it's really good. It's only missing one thing that I could see actually, just the ESC telemetry. If they incorporated that, oh my goodness, that would have just been absolutely phenomenal. If we take a look here, this is where you put your buzzer um right there so they left you a huge amount of space here that's pretty cool and then here we have another rx4 and then here we have a buzzer another buzzer i think also here and then here we have leds as you can tell this is the led signal pin this is the 5 volt for your led and this is the ground and um yeah it's it's very nice actually i'm, I'm very curious how this is going to perform amount of filtration is very minimal but it does have some hopefully they're using very good regulators on board and we'll know that very soon and um yeah and uh, here yeah by the way uh this connector is actually for gps if you wanted to connect gps you could totally do that and that's why they left you those pwm pads maybe if you wanted to control some kind of a camera or something you could totally do that with this so overall this is this is looking very good and there's a little barometer also so if you wanted to build some kind of a gps build this will work for it also which is pretty cool um but you know you're not going to be able to go over four motors unless you know how to do resource remapping and then you're gonna have to bypass this guy but that's a whole different story and um, you'll probably know what you're doing if you're gonna go that route uh, but for most this is just an insane stack super slim um, and uh, hopefully it's gonna perform absolutely insane I'm very you know the features on board on this is just crazy it's just absolutely crazy and it's so light you know I've never felt a board so light before so that's that's something pretty interesting actually and uh, another thing what I noticed um, about this board is it, it, it could take both gyros you could purchase this with the sensitive gyro and the MPU 6000 this is the MPU 6000 gyro and um, if you had to choose just stick with the MPU 6000 uh, not everything is still not super ready for the super sensitive gyros and um, especially if you have very bad ESCs don't, don't just just yeah uh, so this is going to be like the almost perfect noob friendly premium setup right here i mean look look how easy this is that's it you know all you have to do now is just install your once this is connected via pins all you have to do is just connect your camera vtx and receiver and you're done and obviously your motors to the esc look how big those pads are 
You know, it's very nice. Very, very beautiful. Uh, you don't have to put that low ASR capacitor that comes with the ESC, but if you wanted to, it's right there. It's a Rubicon. And uh, there's the little uh, dampeners for the ESC. And then here's the dampeners for the flight controller. So that's it's going to be overall um, pretty damn sweet, actually. This is just awesome. It's so thin. It's so amazing. And um, I think that's it, guys. I think that's going to include it for this video. So this ESC is a BL Heli 32 ESC. It's right up to 40 amps. And I uh, believe it should be able to run 6S. I'm not sure. But it's possible that was one of the reasons why they... Yeah, it should be able to run 6S. So this is, this should run 6S just fine, in theory. So uh, did, I, did I purchase a 6S? I don't remember if I purchased a 6S. Oh, yeah, I did. I purchased two 6S's. So we'll, we'll test this on a 6S, see how well that does. However, the motors might burn out, whatever motors I use, though. Uh, but we'll see how that works out. So we might do a little test running on a 6S here uh, before building it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But uh, overall, this is just... Um, it's a gorgeous stack. I mean, it's a very nice. It's so simple to set up. It's absolutely phenomenal. Um, I really can't wait to get started on this. And um, yeah, and LRC. Hope you don't let us down because so far it looks absolutely hella promising. And that's gonna conclude it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And please consider joining my Patreon. Help support this mission. Help support this channel. And you also get secret access to my shop, which gives you some crazy things to buy and better prices than the public, uh, which also supports the channel somewhat. But it's just overall for the community. And uh, you can go ahead and check out the reviews there. Now, that's all I got to say, guys. It looks like a promising, absolutely phenomenal stack. You can check the links down below for it. They are affiliated links to Banggood. Um, but this stack just uh, looks incredible. But that's all I could really say until I build it. And then right now, after this video, that's when I'm going to start building it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Now we'll see you next time. See you guys. Take care.